Hey guys, it's M Beans and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I have another part to the series 15 things you still don't know about Animal Crossing in 2022. You guys love this series. Thank you so much for all of the love that I have gotten on all of the previous videos. This might be the final part. Let me know in the comments below if you still want more. But right now everyone is interested in modding their switches or that is the next big thing. So me being a YouTuber and trying to keep up with the trends, I have decided to mod my Switch. Now, there are a lot of pros and cons to this, and there might be some controversy popping up, but um, you do have some limitations. There is a lot to think about with this decision, and I have finally made a decision. I'm going to do it, so I'm super excited to bring you some future content with my modded Switch. But for now, enjoy these 15 facts that you still don't know about Animal Crossing and let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a part 6. And before we get started, so this time I asked you guys to leave comments on my previous videos, something that you did not know until recently, for a chance to be featured in my next video. So here we are, I am bringing you guys to the video and I will be featuring your comments. So before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the like. It helps me out a lot. If you hit the notification bell, you will be notified when I upload a new video. But let's get right into it because I'm super excited about number one. One of our viewers said that other than just changing your clothes in the cooler, you can also change your clothes in You'll see. Drum roll, please. That's right. This thing is called an artisanal, artisan bug cage. An artisanal bug cage? I don't know. Artisanal bug cage. You can actually click this and change your outfit. I <laughs> would have never tried to do that but that is so cute i love it i'm gonna carry around a artisanal bug cage from now on just to be able to change you know whenever i want that's a great tip thank you for that and let's go to the next one number two brings us back to the museum and charlie told us that there's actually three blue circles in the museum where their perspective will change. This is the spot that I featured in the last video where if you stand here it will zoom out and you can see an asteroid on the ceiling and it just automatically does this. It's really cool. Once you open your camera you can actually run around and keep the camera zoomed out. But Charlie wanted us to know there are two more. So here is number one, right here, I did not realize this, that's pretty cool. But then there's an extra special spot that Charlie mentioned in the room to the right of the dinosaurs. If you run up here and get to about the middle, the perspective changes. Then you can open your camera, zoom out even more. Make sure you get all of those villagers, which you still don't get all of them really. But if you go to the empty spot over here, where there's a line but no shadow, that spot is especially for you. You even get a light over your head, which is so cute. Here is a closer view. Now if I walk away, I don't have a light, and there's me. And you might be wondering how I got to this perspective. This is the third perspective Charlie was telling us about. And all you do is come up the stairs behind the dinosaurs or come out of the evolution room. Stand on this circle here and you get this cool view. Now that I did not know about, and look how awesome that view is. Wow, thanks Charlie. And let's go to the next tip. 
So number three, Two Stellar Pupcakes commented on one of my previous videos and told me that if you have those pesky little roaches in your house, you don't have to run around and chase them and wait for them to come out from underneath furniture. You can actually just go into design mode real quick and place furniture on top of the roaches and bam, they're dead. I thought that that was super cute and actually a good time saver for you to get rid of those roaches. So thank you to Stellar Pupcakes for that comment. And that brings me straight into number four. Did you know that you can design all 10 of your villager homes in one day? Tom Nook makes it seem like you have to wait to the next day because he likes to say, okay, these designs will be ready tomorrow, as if his crew is going to take all night to do the renovations and they'll be busy with that and can't do another one. But actually, they can. They are busy worker bees. He makes those little guys work overtime and they can get it done. So you can do all 10 villagers at once and then go to the next day and bam, they're done. That saves you a lot of time. Number five, this next tip a lot of people already know about, but there are a few that still don't know this, so I wanted to include it. If you turn on your television at 3.33, in the morning you will find a special little visitor and right now it's only 3 30 in my game so i'll be right back when it's actually time i'll be waiting here waiting okay now it's 3 33 and look what happens when we turn on the tv we have aliens and the aliens are communicating with us i cannot understand what they're saying but they're trying to mind control my rep here and i'm a little concerned they're also like frying my tv you see that smoking see the tv smoking oh so that only happens during the 333 time as soon as it goes back to 334 we are back to just static. Ignore my empty house. I hate interiors. I will probably never design it, but this is as good as it's gonna stay. I have all my necessities. I have a couch. I have this thing and this thing and this thing, and that's all we need. A fresh little plant, a little rug. The rug got out of place because I was crushing the roaches with it, but you know, that's it. Let's go to the next one. My next tip brings me to this device right here. This is a cold sleep pod. Obviously, it is called that because you can sleep in it, right? Well, yeah, obviously, but I was being a little bit dumb and I did not realize that you can sleep in it. I had no idea. I thought it just looked cool. Um, I never actually used it. It never fits with any of my themes that I have done. Maybe you guys didn't know about this item. Maybe you did. Maybe you've never tried to lay in it. I just think it's really cool looking. And I also wish the top would close, but you know, pretty cool. Probably shouldn't include it because you guys are gonna say, oh my gosh, she is so dumb. But you know, I'm gonna do it because let's be real here on my channel. And let's go to number seven. I have not restarted my island in a while and I am not ready to restart right now. So I am pulling up an old video of mine, how to get three stars fast. And here we are on after you get KK. And a fun fact that I did not realize is if you press A during these credits, you can actually clap along with KK. So you're not going to see me doing it here because this is an old video, but 
I think it's really cute that we could have clapped because standing here is kind of awkward. Although it's cute to just enjoy the music, I would have liked to clap along. So again, just press A when you're on the credits screen and you'll clap along with KK. Super cute. Number eight. Here I have my absolute favorite NPC in this game and it's Celeste. Look at her. How could you not love her? She dances with you. Oh my gosh. I love her to death, but you actually can show her a constellation and she will tell you about it. She's so sweet. Always giving me the DIYs. All right. Celeste, if you talk to her, she says that she each constellation has its own story. So now that I have an Aries fragment and Cancer fragments in my pockets, she asks if she can help me with something. So I say, take a look at this and I'm going to show her a Cancer fragment. Of course, what you have there is some Cancer fragments. There are many tales and stories about Cancer. This is my favorite. So now she's going to go on and on about some story, but I'm not going to read it to you guys. You guys can do this on your own if you want to know the stories. So while we are on the topic of Celeste, I wanted to bring us to number nine. And number nine is a useful way to use Celeste and time traveling together is she just gives you a DIY every time you talk to her until you have all of her DIYs. Well, she just gave me one and if I time travel to the next day, I pick up any star fragments that I wished upon a star for and I can time travel back to this night and she will give me a different one. So let's see, she just gave me the mom's wand. So I will be right back. You can do this for Red's art as well. That is how I got all of the DIYs and the art on my previous island. So I actually traveled a month ahead on accident. So luckily I did have Red here on my island. So I'm going to show you the same Celeste trick but with red. As you can see, we have four works of art here, plus these two random items. I'm going to time travel to the next day, let the game load, then exit it off, and then I will come back to this day. Here we are, I time traveled forward and then backward again, and now red has new art and new items i actually want this item but you can keep doing this until you collect all of the genuine art which is what i did on my first island it took a little while but it was actually pretty fun i hope that helped number 10 if you come to brewster's with a friend and neither of you have any money brewster will serve you glasses of water so brewster is asking Taylor to buy us some coffee right now and let's see what happens so she's gonna say she'll cover it he said he's gonna bring out as many coffees as she can pay for and she has zero bells and now we have water <laughs> now we enjoyed a nice cup of water together thank you Brewster for the water we are broke this is actually super cute and my bestie Taylor, aka Alola.Crossing, has come through for us to feature herself in this video with me. So thanks Taylor for coming over for this little demonstration. So now she told him separate checks, neither of us have bells for coffee. So our drinks are ready and here are some waters. <laughs> So cute! I love it. Ah, classic water. <laughs> Nothing like two pink loving girls drinking some water together in the trendiest little cafe in town. Thanks Taylor for having some water with me. Love you girl. So here we have a fountain and, and a lot of us may not know but the fountain actually changes 
At the beginning of every hour, the water will do something different. So right when the clock strikes zero, the water is going to change up, letting you know that the time has changed. I saw this happen on my island and I wondered what the heck. Look at those seals squirting that water out and the little fish as well. And then it goes right back. The other fountains in the game also do the same thing. So look out for those when a new hour begins. Number 12. I have never noticed this before, but you notice this dress right here, it has long sleeves, right? But when I put it on, I have short sleeves. So the purse makes you roll up your sleeves. I never noticed this little detail, but I'm also going to show you what else makes you roll up your sleeves. So here I am with the long sleeves, but I'm going to equip this ladder and boom, now I have short sleeves. I would have literally never noticed that. I can't believe that. I'm always wearing a custom design. So I don't usually have long sleeves, but if you have long sleeves or baggy sleeves, you can't hold a purse with them because it will automatically get rolled up. I wanted to try the froggy costume and okay, so no, that doesn't count because the sleeves are tight, but that is a cute little fun fact. And now when I put my ladder up, it's gone. That's kind of crazy. Number 13, when you have the King Tut mask on, most people know that you fall, but did you know that certain items will break and spill when you fall? Enjoy this compilation here of random items that I tried. Number 14. If you find a scallop, Pascal pops up to get it, of course. And yes, I give it to him. And trade for a mermaid DIY. But that's not the tip here. The tip is, if you follow him to the fence, he will hang out over here and you will see him trying to open the scallop so he can eat it. He used his necklace to open it and he ate it. That's pretty cute. Now if only I could float like he does. And then he eventually swims off into the distance and you can no longer see him. And our last tip, number 15. We all know that we can bury 10,000 bells and get a money tree that will give us 30,000 bells. On days when Isabel mentions the horoscope, it means when you find a glowing hole, if you bury 99,000 bells, you will get 297,000 back in return when the money tree matures. That's a fun little tip. We all thought we could just plant 10,000, but now we can plant 99 on those lucky days. Are you feeling lucky? Hmm? Are you? I'm not. I couldn't find a day where she says that. So my rep is not lucky at all whatsoever, but you know, it's fine. So thank you guys so much for watching part five of 15 things you still don't know about Animal Crossing in 2022. Check the links in the description to find the first four parts. I think I will end this series here, but comment below if you'd like to see more and I may try to think of some more. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.